this is the Pfizer CEO, Albert Abrula. And he explains Pfizer's new tech to Davos crowd. You think you think you want to you want to hear what the new tech is? By the way, um, he's not a doctor. <laughs> he's a veterinarian. <laughs> not that I don't like veterinarians. I love them. Just want to let everybody know. OK. It is a basically biological chip that it is in the tablet. Wait a minute. Did he just say he's talking about a biological chip that they put in a tablet? Mm -hmm. Huh? This, wait a minute, hold on. <laughs> it is a basically biological chip that it is in the tablet. And once you take the tablet and dissolves into your stomach, sec sends a signal that you took the tablet. So imagine the applications of that, uh, compliance. Uh, the insurance companies to know that <laughs> the medicines that patients should take, they do take them. Uh, it is uh, fascinating what happens in, in uh, this field. <laughs> Imagine, let's, hang on, I, I didn't hear that it is right. It's basically biological chip that it is in the tablet. And once you take the tablet and dissolves into your stomach, sec, sends a signal that you took the tablet. So imagine the applications of that. Imagine mm. the application and... Compliance. Imagine the compliance. <laughs> What is this guy, regular John Lennon? Imagine all the compliance. Well, you could say he's a dreamer, but he's not the only one. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what I can imagine. How hard is Dick must get imagining all that compliance? That's what I <laughs> I'll tell you that. Hey, wait, isn't imagining the compliance how these crazy conspiracy theories form in the first place? Because that was supposed to be a conspiracy theory. And now... What in the f? I, you make these theories, you give them ideas, but and so now you can you can see the for, the this is the former veterinarian in him coming out. That's what <laughs> this is, right? So he's a veterinarian, and you can see it coming out because what he's doing now is they're, they're developing a low jack for <laughs> yeah. for human beings to track us from the inside out. That's what that's what's happening for for human obedience, really. And that's how you can tell he was a former veterinarian, because this is the kind of thing. Uh, they're also working on a cone to put around our head so we don't look at misinformation. <laughs> that's nice. It's really amazing stuff. It's really amazing stuff. When he talks, all I can think of is uh, Mr. Rourke from Fan Welcome to Compliance <laughs> Island. Ah! <laughs> so let's hear that once again, because it's chilling. It is a basically biological chip that it is in the tablet, yes. and yeah. once you take the tablet <laughs> and dissolves into your stomach, sec, sends a signal that you took the tablet. So imagine the applications of that, uh, compliance. Uh, the insurance companies to know that the medicines that patients should take, they do take them. Uh, it is uh, fascinating what happens in, in uh, this field. <laughs> wow. So uh, just another conspiracy theory becomes conspiracy fact. Exactly. Hey, uh, them microchips, not this again. It's a conspiracy theory. Me, that's the CEO of Pfizer saying that. Them, oh, well, in that case, this wonderful drug sounds like a godsend. <laughs> They're imagining the compliance. Imagine. So it's not a conspiracy theory. The conspiracy was that the tracker was inside the vaccine. Oh, right. Yeah. They're, they're just working on a compl compliance tracking. It, it just wasn't ready yet. So you must feel like a real idiot. <laughs> if you thought that they were going to put that in the vaccine, what kind of a mental case are you? It's just regular compliance tracking. It's just compliance. Ah, stop being so paranoid. I'm sure they're gonna, only going to use this kind of stuff on Britney Spears. <laughs> I supported it for Britney. What's that? You supported what? A low jack on Britney. <laughs> oh, low jack. Do people use low jack anymore? Do we do, do we still does, does every car come with a low jack now? How does it work? I don't have low jack. So if they steal your car, low jack was supposed to track it. And so nobody could get away. I w but this, oh. I bet they're still stealing cars like crazy though, aren't they? I thought it was to make sure my car was taking its medication. And <laughs> <laughs> They steal cars now for the catalytic converter, then at least in California. 
And then they also steal cars for like they take out the airbags because people need new airbags when they bump into stuff. Oh, yeah. And so they need I guess you can't reuse the airbag. Really? I guess they can't. I remember that was a big uh, story that like people get in accents and like, you know, like forks and knives were coming out of the, <laughs> the thing instead of an airbag, like the like a Bugs Bunny cartoon because yeah. somebody stole the airbag. Yeah. But you got to put. Like you like like a like a parachute, you pack that you don't use a parachute once, right? You reuse those. Like well, that's what I thought it would detonate, be. Doesn't something like yeah, there's to... a so there's things in there that it's like a chemical. And when the chemical touches the other chemical, it goes poof and it. It makes all this air, and so I guess they have to redo that. I guess that's the thing. Anyway, so there you go, uh, microchips in your drugs, and imagine the compliance. Well, so is that supposed to be like for what, prisoners or something? Like You tell me. <laughs> well, they, what's the, uh, I know. the compliance? He's just saying it like it's the most wonderful thing in the world. Like it's a science fiction film from the future. Remember before they didn't? Remember when you just took a pill and there wasn't a microchip in it to track you forever? Well, just like what pill would I be complaining? Because compl- do they court order people to take their, med- their meds ever? Is that like, I'm trying to think of any possible. Well, thing I'm sure in mental hospitals and stuff like that, or psychiatric hospitals, I like to call them mental hospitals. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's where they put all the mentals. Yeah. <laughs> they can't just check their stool, huh? They got to do it. The- <laughs> right? Yeah. What happened to checking my shit? Make sure. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm on tour. Come see me in Irvine, California, Las Vegas, Indianapolis, Salt Lake City, Washington. Washington? You mean Washington State? Yes. Yes. Go to jimmydorkcomedy.com for a link for all those tickets. Mm-hmm.